Hello there, Inklets. I have something naughty to show you today. I shouldn't have done it. It's Adele from Inky Quill and I am a scrapaholic. I made an order from Studio Calico, which was super expensive, but they were having a sale and they were just pretty things and I wanted them. So I thought I'd give you a quick little show. You've probably seen a lot of these things before, but um, I thought I'd show you what I got. Okay, so the first thing I got was this Heidi Swap journal pad, which is 6 by 8 inch. And I've been admiring it over here in Australia, but the price of it, it was like close to $25, I'm pretty sure, here in Australia. And I'm sorry, Heidi, $25 is way too much, particularly when I can get a 12 by 12 paper pad for $13 when it's on sale. No way. So I did buy this from Studio Calico. It was really cheap. I think it was about six bucks or something six dollars maybe so the paper in it is quite thick which i'm looking forward to using maybe in some junk journals and things i also got quite a few of these little card sets so sorry for the crinkling and they come this is like a little quotey one um and it was about oh they're about double-sided too that's cool um and it was about weddings so I thought I'd get this one because we just had my friend's wedding and I could use these and it was only a couple of dollars might have been three dollars I'm not sure but yeah and you get two of each card as well which is quite handy and the quality is just really nice and they're not rounded corners I'm not a fan of rounded corners anymore <laughs> I got this one which is a quote pack so this side has black and white and then this side has a color so I'm just going to show you the color side and these I thought would be really cute just for filler cards because you don't actually need to embellish these anymore so there's these and then these ones so I'll be using those in some grab fives soon I also got this one I'm sorry I don't know the names of them they didn't give me like a pack that I mean a piece of paper that had all of my orders in there um, this one was it about oh it was spring break this one now we don't have spring break over here um, but I thought a lot of, it was really really cheap this one schools out works for me <laughs> so what is spring break is it only like do you just get like a week off what I don't really get the American school terms so here in Australia we have four school terms that are all either 10 or 11 weeks and then we have two weeks in between them all and then at the end of the year we have six weeks off over Christmas because that's our summer but yeah let me know if you're an American or a northern hemisphere person or even UK what do you do in UK let me know in the comments below um, this was a movie one and Aaron and I are quite keen movie watchers so I thought that this one was good you get two of them and then you can see I've already scratched this one with nail polish I thought this was really cute so this is the type of stuff that I want to put in my project life like the movies that we're watching and the TV shows that we're obsessed with we just started watching um, Gossip Girl again Whew fun to watch the old times when they're talking about MySpace and the old school mobile phones. It's very cute. Um, I got a couple of Studio Calico Heart stickers. I think these are a dollar each and they're very flat. Um, but yeah, for a dollar, can't go wrong there. I also got some of the chipboard stickers and I have had these ones before in a kit and I really really liked them they had um they were kind of just autumn -y, but not too autumn -y. like there's some generic things that you could put in there in your project life as well but it's autumn here now so that's cool um I got two project life kits this one I'm not going to go into too much detail because a lot of people unbox these um this one is December 2015 get some bring on 2000 bring it on bring it 2016 that's kind of like a letterpress card 
you get some enamel dots and shapes some what is that it's kind of like I think it's just epoxy yeah some words some washi strips what's in here oh it's an alphabet craft alphabet which I probably won't use because I'm not a huge fan of craft I just yeah I don't like craft um, some chipboard and then I always use these as well um, it's extremely green <laughs> um, I like those houses so and we don't have snow so I won't be using that one um, some little rubbery stars a stamp that's really good and generic some little tickets if you've watched my journaling on mass video over on my other channel let's get inky you'll know what page I can use those in um, and then the cards I'm not going to show you all of them because this is an older kit so I'm kind of just going to fan them out and flick through them a little bit so it's so cute um, so that is the December kit and these are only I think these ones were 10 um, which for what you get is what I'd be happy to pay <laughs> um, I really wouldn't want to spend much more than 10 this one has a freaking roll a date stamp but it's not a date stamp they're just words so here in Australia this would be at least $10 if not more so pretty much in my eyes I see it all this stuff's free <laughs> um, so I've paid for this and all this stuff's free more tickets some cork numbers rubbery little days of the week pink alpha some little flares from hello forever that one says life I want to say yep life this is the January one some labels I'm not a not a huge fan of that color it's kind of like a green gold um, it's a very different card too so I just like the quality of the studio calico cards you just can't beat it so this one's quite a graphic kit there's a lot of like the goldy um, collection patterns I can see in there so there's that January kit and then I got some mystery kits so these are only five dollars and I love the old packaging <laughs> I miss the old packaging but I do like these two so I like I like both of them um, so these are only five dollars and I just couldn't say no to two of them so I had no idea what I was getting um, it was just a lucky dip and because I haven't subscribed to Studio Calico for a couple of years maybe two years yeah two years um, I knew I probably wouldn't have them so that was handy this one is July I think um, so in here there's just some die cuts that aren't completely my color scheme but some of them are the orange ones not so much I'm not going into depth a lot with these because they are older and you can't you can't just readily get them off the, um, the website some chipboard this I'm not sure if I'm going to use I might use it as a stencil maybe it's different <laughs> some um, acetate shapes Tiny word stickers, um, two alphas, which is awesome, a stamp set. So already five dollars is definitely worth it. Even if there's things like this and this that I won't use, the rest of it makes up for it, and the cards as well. Oh, isn't that a pretty floral? Um, so this was fairground, yeah, July fairground. Um, and then the cards so that's my mystery kit number one and then mystery kit number two now they did say that they can't guarantee that you won't have doubles but I was lucky I didn't get a double they just said they try this is May which I didn't have and it was called California moon so you get a stamp a nice gold oh it's kind of like copper foil that one these I probably won't use I'll probably pass along their little clips love these little copper stars 
some really oversized die cuts, <laughs> chipboard thingy, tiny words, always away to my heart. These really chunky chipboard alphabets. And I know I'm not really showing you and I'm showing you upside down, but you still get the idea. So that was one of my mystery kits. So I really recommend that when Studio Calico have their mystery kits for sale, get them because for $5 you can't go wrong. I also bought some vellum. This is where I buy my vellum from and I got three packets of it because I can't really find a place in Australia that has vellum that I like. I just... I found some that I don't like and yeah, so I bought some vellum. Um, the real reason that I actually wanted to make an order is because I was out of 9 by 12 page protectors and I wanted some because I'm using 9 by 12 for my albums this year. So I did get, I think, six packets. So I should be set from now on because you might as well, with the postage situation here in Australia, you might as well buy big in bulk of something that you know you're going to use. And then I got this kit, which I think was a little bit more. Maybe it was 15, I want to say. But I couldn't say no to the colours. Um, I don't know which one it is, I'm sorry. But you can still buy it. It wasn't a mystery. You can still buy it. So it's got this big alpha in vellum, peach coloured vellum. Some puffy alphas. Some really giant enamel dots. Why don't you make tiny ones, do you know, Calico? Make just a pack of tiny ones. I love these. They're like those conversation heart things. Um, some really cute stickers. And then the papers. I love this. Absolutely love that. Um, so I should tell you what they're called. This is Studio Calico Pink House. Studio Calico Trolley Tour, Studio Calico Tea Room, Studio Calico Whittaker Street, love that as well. Uh, Studio Calico Parlor, oh I just want to colour that in. Um, this is a gold foil hearts and then this one is also gold foil, don't know where that's from. And then there's some white cardstock, pink craft, and like a rosy pink. So for $15, paper here is upwards of $2.50 per page. And we can't get these brands in Australia, where I am anyway, at the moment. Um, so it was worth it. The paper alone was as much as the kit. <laughs> so I got that one. And then I got one mystery scrapbook kit. I got this one, I think it was a mystery, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, um, and this was January far, 2015, so it's a little bit old, um, far, far away, you get a little stamp, you get some wood veneer, and look, it's a bunny, they must have known. They wouldn't have known, but I can pretend they did. Um, some acetate, which I'm definitely not going to use. It's fruit. I have no use for fruit acetate. Um, I also have this little washi, very skinny washi tape that says, like, thumbs down, thumbs up, optimistic, lucky me, bad day. So that's cute. That will be cute in my Fobonichi. If you haven't, if you don't know what my Fobonichi is, go check out my other channel, Let's get inky. You'll see it over there. Um, some little stickers. Not sure if I'll use that either, but we'll see. Some chipboard symbols. A grey alpha. I love these. They're very fluoro though. They're a rubber alphabet. And then some papers. Rose coloured glasses. Studio Calico. Pythagorean. Studio Calico. Fine print, Studio Calico, Patchwork, Studio Calico, I'm going fast because you've probably already seen this, Delilah, Studio Calico, Couple, cup, Compliment, cup, Compliment, Airy, that's a hard name, Studio Calico, it looks like Couple Mint Airy, <laughs> um, Cat's Cradle, I love that one, and Dashing, oh they're still going, Watermark, does Geo Calico not do other papers anymore? Do they only do their own branded papers? It's a bit 
Hmm, that's a bit uh, different. So that's that kit. And then, I think that's all oh, with one more. I also got some papers on sale. So these are just um, individual sheets of paper that were very, very cheap. So this is Seven Paper Darcy. I thought these would be really good to cut out to use in my junk journals. Love that as well. I should have got two of them. Um, this is Seven Paper Amelia 002, which I've had before and I love. This is the DIY Shop White on Vellum and their numbers on Vellum. I love this. I think I got two of them. Yeah, I did. Um, it's Elliot and it's just like floral on a very greeny vellum and I'm going to use this as a title page to one of my albums. So I've got two of those. Um, seven Paper Elliot 007. Seven Paper Felix 1011. So it's a Christmas one for my Christmas album. Um, and Felix 009. So yeah, so this is my Studio Calico haul. Let me know in the comments below if you've bought anything recently in their sales. Um, and if you want to vent about postage in your area, hit me up in the comments below because, girl, I am there as well. Postage is ridiculous. Why? Why, postman? Why must you do that to us? I know it's not the postman. It's the big companies, but it's not fair. All right. Thanks, everyone, and give me a likey if you'd like to see some more hauls. Bye.